sorry guys I'm just um, I'm just really baffled um, I just don't know what happened just just roll the film What's up YouTube at DBKS underscore daddy here. Got another video provided to you by me. Uh, one, one of these days hopefully we could say sponsored by somebody, but right now it's sponsored by me and my own pocket. We have two packages from the people over at New Balance. Right now New Balance is all the wave. Yes, you heard it correctly, New Balance. It does help that the fact that Kawhi Leonard did win an NBA championship with the Toronto Raptors with his teammates and he was laughed at for signing with New Balance when he left Jordan Brand. So everybody was doing the Kawhi laugh when he left. However, that momentum that he's carrying is just moving through even to his shoes. And so what we have today actually is what I, I guess I'll call it a collaboration or inspiration or creation by the one and only. <laughs> As you can see though, one of the boxes is completely, completely destroyed. Mangled, beat up. What's in the box you say? Well, I'll show you. What we have here in the first box is the New Balance 997. It is a lifestyle shoe. I am fairly new to New Balance, so I don't really know all the tech specs. But what I can tell you, there is a super, super nice black upper. It has mixtures of leather and mesh. Also has some blue and some gold hits on it throughout the shoe. The cool thing is that it does come with two extra sets of laces. Uh, and so I will say that, you know, the shoe itself is pretty fancy. The, the laces here, the, the blue ones, so the ones it comes with, the black ones are a little bit waxed laces. The blue ones are more of a traditional like rope lace type thing. And then they have some cream or some off-white, off-white. They have some cream colored laces that are also waxed. Uh, on the tongue, you do have the Kawhi Leonard or the K2. That is the New Balance logo for now until Kawhi uh, finishes suing Nike for his logo with the hand and the L. So the shoe has a white midsole with end cap reveal. I have no idea what that tech spec is. Also has absorb cushioning. It looks like it's very chunky. It looks like it's very soft to squeeze. I never owned a pair, so I can't tell you how are these, if they're super comfy boy or not, I, I don't know. We also have a swimming pool outsole. It's an icy outsole. It's clear, but it looks like swimming pool water, like fresh swimming pool water, not the kind of swimming pool water that you see after like 45 kids go in there from not showering. Overall though, I do give this shoe an eight out of 10. Pretty well put together. It looks comfy. I won't be wearing it because again, I am a hype beast. So one of the boxes was completely trashed and mangled. The other box, however, is superb. And why they both didn't come like this, I have no idea. So what we have here is the Kawhi Leonard or the New Balance OMN1S. So this shoe here is both slept on and hyped at the same time. Basically like Kawhi Leonard. He's a slept on athlete in the fact that he's not very outgoing. I, we did get a glimpse of him celebrating a little bit in the finals, but He's very low key and, and you gotta appreciate that. And at the same time, he's also driven the hype. Same thing with this shoe. Not too many people knew that this shoe released. So it kind of slipped under the radar, but now that it has released, but they're reselling it for like crazy. So the upper is comprised of some blue and black, some type of knit. It feels very nice. And then it has some gold hits throughout the shoe. The lace loops have, uh, is actually painted golden leather instead of like plastic. It kind of gives off that whole Black Panther appeal to it to me, uh, or the claw, however you want to. I mean, could, some people can say it's nail. Some people can say it's just leather. I kind of think of it as uh, more of the 
Black Panther type style. Around the ankle, you have some black leather, kind of looks like gator skin with a gold N. At the tongue, you have Kawhi's New Balance logo with the K2, obviously for Kawhi and his jersey number, number two. The midsole is a pure white midsole. It contains fuel cell energy or cushioning system. The way I could describe this shoe, it kind of reminds me of a Jordan 29 upper with a little bit of leather and then with the curry midsole. The outsole is also like a swimming pool outsole except this one looks like the dingy dirty outsole where 45 kids went swimming in and it's not as clear as fresh chlorine water as it is with 45 kids chlorine water. So just to compare the two, you got two different blues, two different hits. You see that? So a little bit more clean chlorine, a little bit less clean chlorine. So this has sweat and kid in it. This is fresh adult laying on a tube in it. Overall though, this does look like a very solid shoe. I do give this a very solid 8.5 out of 10. I'm not a hooper. I'm not gonna try and hoop in these. I'm definitely gonna trade for something else that I want and then wait for another pair that releases general release to have these. Uh, this is not my favorite colorway, therefore I'm not going to keep it. Won't tell you what I'm gonna do with it, but let's just say I will make sure that in return, I get something that I really want. That way I can capitalize on this hype at this time because that's what traditional hype beasts do. Is this worth it? On StockX right now, this shoe, believe it or not, is selling for $900. So the question is, is this worth it? In my opinion, only if you're a super duper Kawhi Leonard fan and a fan of New Balance, it's not worth the 900 plus dollars. Now, if you get it at retail, absolutely. This is, a, I think New Balance has done a great job. If you can grab a pair at retail cost, these are an excellent shoe to have, especially if you're a hooper. I can't per se hoop, therefore I'm not going to keep it. Uh, down the road, I will get a colorway that fits more of my colorway, hopefully like with the white, black, and red that he wore during the All-Star game. That one, I will buy and I will keep. And as I said earlier, I give this one a good solid eight, eight and a half out of 10. So if you're looking to score a pair, now if you're willing to pay the money, go for it. They're on StockX right now. But uh, again, I, I, I would wait for the general releases to come out and then you can have a pair at a much cheaper price. That is it for today. We got two shoes, the New Balance 997. This one is inspired by Kawhi, I guess. The story goes when he when he came to New Balance, he was able to de design a shoe. This is what was the end product of that design with Kawhi. He, he did the colors and the hits and everything like that. And then it's my understanding, this could be wrong, it's my understanding that after he made that shoe, once this shoe was created, they used the colorway on this shoe to inspire this shoe. I don't know how factual that is. Somebody probably else knows what the real story is. I am going off of what I think I've read on Instagram and Twitter and YouTube and heard it and whatnot. But other than that, that's what we got. In the comments, how about you do me a favor? In the comments, pick which one do you like better? Do you like the 997 or do you like the OMN 1S? Lifestyle hooping shoe. Kawhi Leonard's. Both of them are Kawhi Leonard's. I'm gonna call them the Kawhi Leonard's. Both of them are pretty fire. Both of them got at least a solid eight, eight and a half out of 10 to me. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. If you can, please leave a comment, smack a thumbs up, turn on your notifications. We're gonna try and come out with more content. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Peace. Duck lips. Popcorn or not here.